Hello, I give you all a few minutes to get on. This is Stephanie from Our Custom Designs. I'm going to show you our first project, which was an oven mitt. I know I didn't give you all much time to comment on the post, but I want to go ahead and get it done. We will be adding this design on an oven mitt that I got from Dollar Tree. Hello, as y'all come in, this is Stephanie from Our Custom Designs. We're going to be showing you how to put this design on oven mitts. This is a great first project. This was my, me and Mariah's first project. If you're new here, me and Mariah go live time to time to show the newbies how to, even the people that's been doing it for a while, how to do different projects. Hello, come on in. I'm going to show you all how to put this design on an oven mitt was pot holders we did our first on um, oven mitt but these are called pot holders any newbies here haven't opened up their cricket yet you can uh comment and like or put a heart or something so i can see you all are here hello hello All right, I guess I see that I can comment. So is, are you all, can you hear me? All right, I have pinned our YouTube channel at the bottom, our custom designs. You can show your support by subscribing to our YouTube. And um, I'm gonna go ahead and get started with the 11 people we have. What I'm doing, what we're doing today, Mariah, it's going to show you guys how to put this design on pot holders. This was our very, very first um, project. So it's pretty easy first project. For This is for the people that has a Cricut and kind of scared to use HTV or have their Cricut and haven't used it yet. This is a very easy first project. What we're going to do is going to use these pot holders here. It's two in a pack. I got them from Dollar Tree for a dollar, so they're 50 cent a piece, really. So here we go. I got the R outline from um, somewhere on Google. And I just oh, took out the inside so I can insert my daughter's businesses or two of their businesses. Okay. What we're going to do, of course, I made it big so you guys can see it. Of course, the pot is not going to be that exact size on the pot holders. So here we go. What I do is get the pot holders. And since we put it on the cabinet sometimes, this is gonna be how it hang right there. So get my ruler. I see you guys coming in. I'm just gonna show you our first project, which was pot holders. A nice, easy first project for the people that just got their Cricut. It's HTV. Okay, welcome, welcome. I have pinned our YouTube channel. We have lots of tutorials. Well, not a lot, but we started doing tutorials about two weeks ago. So don't feel free to go ahead and subscribe for new videos. Okay. I want it to be about right here in the center. So I'm going to do about four and a half width. And let's see what the height. So four and a half width, four and a half height, four and a half height. So you're going to go to here. And you're going to unlock that lock, which you probably don't have to unlock it, but I always unlock it. And I make sure I highlight my my first design. It's going to be 4.5 for the width and 4.5 for the height. And since both of these pot holders, I got them from Dollar Tree for a dollar. They're the same size, so we're going to do both of the R's the same size. 4.5. Unlock it. 4.5. Lock it in. All right, that's going to be the size. Then this font is called Impact. If you don't like that font, you can always change your font. And you're just going to make the font fit inside the little circle, the little um rectangle here. 
So you're gonna use this. I unlocked the lock so that you can me you can change your measurements how you like. And you can use any font really. Any neat cool fonts. Alright, see how that fit in there? I like the way it fits perfectly. Yeah, there you go. Alright, and then this is the same way. Unlock that font. Change it how you like. You can do it long, you can do it short. Is this you all first time watching us on live? I know it's a lot of new people in the group. Mariah has missed you guys. She's going to be showing you guys how to do this. I'm just getting it set up ready for her in design space. She's actually showing her sisters tonight how to do it as well. So I know if they can do it, you guys can do it. They're all under the age of 13, so they're all young. But they are little entrepreneurs. Okay. I don't, let me shorten this a little bit. Sorry, I just play with it a little bit. It don't have to be perfect. This is going in our home, so it don't have to be perfect. Okay, and then once you get your letters in there, how you like it, you're going to highlight the entire thing and weld it all together. See that? It, now it's welded all together. And you're going to do this one as well. Weld it all together down near the weld. Now it's all welded together. And then... We're just going to go ahead and put make it. Whenever you're doing um, HTV, you always mirror the design. And you're going to do shiny side um, down. And, but she, Mariah is going to show teach her sisters that. And we're using a long mat. I'm not sure how long the vinyl is, but we usually just go ahead and put in our long mat right there are y'all keeping up i don't see any comments any if y'all have any questions just type them in is this y'all first time watching us have y'all seen us before maybe once i show y'all mariah y'all might recognize and remember her but um until that time come this is our sweet life our custom size it is uh oh it is mirrored let me turn that flash it is mirrored that's how you like it and it is on the long mat Okay, and I'm going to ask the sisters which ones they want because it is a black mitt, so any color will work. Okay, I'm going to introduce the girls. That is Mariah. If this is your first time, this is Mariah. She's the one that started using the Cricut maybe in June, and she took off with it. So y'all can say hey to Mariah. Say hey, Mariah. Hey. And this is her sister, Maya. And her sister Destiny. She's showing them today how to do these pot holders. Okay. All right. Which color do y'all want to use? Okay. Put which one are you doing? Our sweet life or our and you're doing our chef kitchen. Which one y'all doing? Our chef's kitchen. Our sweet life uses the rainbow color. So the rainbow color is going on the top or bottom? Top. Okay. Rainbow color going on top, and she wanted it to be our sweet life, which is their lemonade stand during the summer. They just created it this summer and did really well. So go ahead and put up the top, shiny side down. A pretty rainbow color, as you can see. And the mat is not sticking too good anymore. She's, she's going to use a piece of tape. We're going to make a video on how we clean our mats. We never throw the mats away. We just clean them with some Dawn disc detergent and let it dry overnight. We're going to make a video on that tonight because we actually have two mats that need cleaning. Because we were really super busy during the Christmas holiday. So we're going to be cleaning those mats, getting ready for, um, get, you know, just cleaning them. They need to be re sticky, so... Can somebody comment hello so I can make sure y'all can hear me and see me and y'all are learning new new things. This your first time here. This your first time watching a live video in this group. 
Y'all can comment so I know you you can hear me. Hi, everybody doing? Why she's putting her tape down. Hey, hey, hey. Okay. So this is going on the top. Oh, hey, Elizabeth. Thank you for commenting. Okay. Yeah, the Our Sweet Life is going on the top, as y'all can see. Actually, y'all are commenting, and I can't see it. I just got the um, message that somebody commented. So, if y'all are commenting, it's not showing up on the live feed. I'm so sorry. But I'm going to keep going. I'll always go back and answer the questions on the... Well, I can't answer them on the live, but I always go back and answer the questions in the comment feed of the video. And if y'all uh, don't mind, go subscribe to our YouTube channel. It's pinned in the comments. Our custom designs. We would appreciate it. We're on Journey to 500. We did get to 100 subscribers in less like two weeks. <laughs> so we, I know we can do it very quickly. All right. Is the blue shiny side down? Yes. Perfect. She's getting that fixed up. And as y'all see, we've used this color vinyl before, and it doesn't start at the top line. I'm going to show you what we do to make it, you know, it don't cut off our design. Just a moment when she get done taping it down. Yeah, I got the notification that somebody commented, but I can't see the comments, so sorry about that. All right, now turn the mat around so I can see the numbers on oh, when she's done. Yeah, we're going to clean these mats tonight. We were so busy during Christmas, up to Christmas, we was just... All right. All right, on this mat... Our sweet life is going to the the very tip top. As I showed you, you see how it cuts down? You do not want your design to get cut off. So for our sweet life, we're going to start it just down a little bit. Because I don't want a design that will waste our vinyl. So just start it down just a little bit. And I always leave a little space. And for our custom, for the um, our chef's kitchen, it's a little cricket. Hold on real quick. Oh. Hold on just a moment. All right, you did a good job putting this stuff down. Okay. All right. And that's for the our sweet no our chef's kitchen starting at 14. You guys see that? It's gonna start at 14. So you're gonna go over here and start at 14. For the new people coming on, we're making pot holders. This was Mariah, me and Mariah's first project. Pot holders. What I say? 14. You're gonna push it all the way down to the 14 line and leave a little space. Just a little bit of space, just to clear it, you know? We always leave a little space. All right, and you always mirror design. We're gonna hit continue, and the shiny side is face down. As y'all seen, you might can't see it, but the shiny side is like this. That's the shiny side, is face down. Let me fix this one moment, y'all. All right, and while that's print cutting, I'm gonna see if I can pull y'all up on this computer so I can see your comments and um oh I'm sorry all right and whenever you type she already set it to earn on she set it to earn on valve and whenever you do that you see a, it say make sure your mirror is turned on and it's turned on and make sure it's material shiny side down it is and so she already clicked the flashing well she's gonna click the flashing button and I always do it on fast mode, but since I want to pull up, see if I can pull up your comments, I'm going to leave it like that and let her push that button again. And it's preparing. This video is for most of the people that has not started their, their uh, cricket journey yet. So while it's cutting, I'm going to try to see if I can pull up the comments while y'all watch that. 
This mat is 12 by 24. It's really helpful when you're doing a lot of projects or doing multiple projects on one, one uh, mat. All right, you want to talk to them while this is going on? I'm going to let y'all talk to the girls. Well, I can't see comments, so just tell them about your YouTube. My YouTube is our cousin design. You tell the people welcome back that seen you before. Welcome back. I'm trying to pull up the comments, see if I can see what y'all saying. Yeah, I can't see the comments. I'm trying to pull it up on my computer now. Oh, I see your comments. Cool. Okay, it said, this is awesome, ladies. Future leaders. Thank you, Crystal. How long have you been using your Cricut? Miss Elizabeth, we got the Cricut in April, and we started using it in May, and Mariah took over in June. So we took a break after the lemonade stand closed, and that was about August when they went back to school. So after the break, we started back up in Christmas. So, yeah, we took a break from... September to Christmas, you know, you know, like December. What tape are you using for HT? Oh, th that's just masking tape only because uh, our mat isn't sticking. I know a lot of people use like painter's tape, but the the, the clear I think the masking tape works just fine for us. This is amazing and smart. Yes, it is, Miss Bree. Um, she's teaching her sisters how to do earn on. She already mastered it pretty much she's just trying to learn the system but yeah she's pretty much mastered it and has her own business doing things um if y'all want to comment i think the comments are coming on my computer <laughs> so if y'all want to comment that'll be good ask me y'all want to ask them some questions While this is going, you guys, if you don't mind, you can go subscribe to her YouTube channel. She's going to tell you it again. Our Custom Design. It's pinned in the comments. Our Custom Designs. And I actually left the group for my personal page and joined in her business page. Because a lot of you all was following me, but I don't do any crafts on my personal page. So, I know you guys probably was following me to see her work and her, you know, to see her, not me. So I just followed back in her under her uh, business page, our custom designs. What kind of vinyl are you using? We actually got this vinyl from a local craft store. So I think it's called Thermo Thermo Flats. Therm Thermo Flats, Thermo Flats. If you ever heard of that before, that's the kind that the lady in the store said it. It doesn't come in a pack or anything. And one of these days, I might give y'all a tour of our local craft store. It's very neat how they got it set up. And they just moved into a bigger location. So, I might give y'all a tour. It's really neat in there. Alright, I think she all done. I'm gonna let it be the girls. My time is over. And we just use a regular old urn. I, we had it for a while. I don't even know where we got it from. But any old urn to do, you know, you don't put no water in it. No steam. Keep the steam off. Even though we don't put water in it, we always turn the steam on off. So, yeah. She's going to teach her sisters. Right. 
And if for the new people, they're just making some pot holders. We got them for a dollar at Walmart. It's a nice first project. I know a lot of you guys just got your Cricut or have your Cricut and haven't pulled it out yet. So this is an awesome first project for the new people. We do a lot of cooking in our home, so we use we go through actually a lot of pot holders and stuff. So we didn't actually need it some more. So this was a good time. <laughs> right now, I'm gonna zoom in so y'all can see what's going on. They're cutting out their design. Showing hers. And Mariah's the youngest out of the sisters, as you probably can tell. So she's this is kind of amazing. Her teaching her sisters how to cricket. They're just cutting out their designs right now. Oh, Elizabeth got her cricket for Christmas. I know you are very excited. It's too dark. She can't really see it. Go ahead. Yes, yeah, help her out, Mariah. They're just cutting out their designs. She said, Mar Maya's going first. We always use that little board, like the cutting board, so we don't scratch up the table. When we're working at the table, we work everywhere. We work in the room, we work on the floor, in the living room, we work on the table. We work. We don't have a, a craft room, so we, go, we do crafts where we can. We get in where we fit in. Y'all, welcome to the live. She's peeling off her design now. Like I said, this is iron on HTV heat transfer vinyl. She's pulling away. And I always tell them if they mess up, we're going to start all over again. I messed up plenty of times. We even messed, I even messed up on a live doing a t shirt one time. It, I redid it. Everybody messes up. I don't really, um, feel ashamed i just say oops and redo it <laughs> so I, that's what i want to teach them it's okay to mess up i'm telling you guys it's okay to mess up just keep going don't give up don't give up you'll learn it after you keep messing up enough so they're just peeling away their design I'm gonna check the computer for more comment, new comments because I can't see the comments on my phone. I don't know if because I'm under her her uh, her business page or what, but let's see. Don't look like any new comments. And I'll always go back and um, answer the comments. So even if I answer on the live, I always go back and answer the comments on the feed. Alright, she's just about. This is called weeding, you all. Who got the knife? 
Oh, y'all can use the when we always weed with a exacto knife. I know a lot of people use like the weeders, those fancy weeders and stuff. We have never used that, and I really don't want to change up because this always worked for us. So I don't know. We just won't be switching it out. Oh, she done? No, remember this is the circle, the R. The you see the R? It's an open R. Oh, right yep. Yeah. Actually, I'm going to turn this around so y'all can see the design. Yeah. I'm going to show you guys the design and I'll show them the design. Okay, we'll it sometimes helps to look at the design. or Because I don't think it's been a while since Mariah done this design. So I'm going to show them the design. That's it. Do you guys have craft night at your house? We have craft night every so often. We uh did the ornaments last time where you put the pro, pro acrylic in there and empty it out and then put the glitter in there. Then you customize it. Yeah, that was really fun. That was our first year doing it. So, and we right now we only got one exacto knife, so they have to share it. I just ran the Dollar Tree to pick up the pot holders, and I was looking for um, exacto knives there. I didn't. I don't know. I just got mine off Amazon, so they didn't sell them at uh, Dollar Tree. So hopefully, I guess I have to order some. Of these. They're going to be crafting together. So. I ordered it off of Amazon. Turn around. Let's see. Oh, she got one more piece to weed. Oh, now I see the comments coming in. What tape are you using? Oh, all the comments are coming in now. That's cool. A little late, but hey, they're coming in. Cool. All the comments coming in at one time. <laughs> And they're just looking at the computer to look at the design. This is a fun first project. I thought that they might like it. Pretty easy. And that's the first one. It come out beautiful. Y'all see that? That is so cute. That's the first one. Our sweet life. And she's still weeding over here. She's getting it. And I'm going to go ahead and have her turn up this iron. It don't take long for this iron to get hot, so... Uh, where's the cords? Uh, here, Destiny. It's all tangled up. What awesome family time. Oh, yeah, Miss Carrie. We love it. They do the crafting with me. And, well, my husband, did he? No, he didn't help with the ornaments. Did, this year, he just came up with the idea to put our family tree on the ornaments. But it was pretty cool. What you need... Oh, it's plugged in? Yes, yeah, plugged in. But yeah, he came up and put our grandparents' name on it and our parents' name on it. So that was a nice family tree project. Uh, and with the urn, we oh, we keep it on off, of course. But we always put it on cotton. There's no water in it and no steam. We keep it on no steam. Even though there's no water in it, there's not going to be any steam. Not yet, anyway. So we use the iron, and it works really fine. So I think it heated up. Destiny gonna go ahead and press hers, hers on. 
No, they're right here, baby. What you doing? Oh, you're comparing it to the computer. Oh, she's comparing it to the computer. It's one separate R. Like I said, it's a really easy first project. If y'all have not done any projects with your Cricut just yet, this is a really, really easy one. Excuse me. Really nice, easy one. All right, Destiny, you can go ahead and get your uh, pot holder. And you can use a piece of parchment paper. You're going to put it between my, you're going to put the part, hold on, let me show you my, it's our chef's kitchen. The kids are cooks, they're little chefs, so they actually have a YouTube. <laughs> so yeah, they have a, a chef channel. I'm coming over there. They have a chef channel, our chef's kitchen, where they cook and show y'all little kid meal, you know, friendly meal, family meals. And I'm gonna go over here. So Destiny can show y'all how to press it. Okay. First of all, you're gonna, yeah, you see, oh, y'all see the tag? We don't want it on the side with a tag. It won't hurt nothing, but we don't never do it like that on that side. So, Destiny, you can go ahead and put your design face down. Remember that side? Put it in the center. And you're going to cover it up. And you're going to press top first, 30 seconds, bottom, 30 seconds. And it's a warm peel, so you always wait about a minute and then peel it off. And you'll make sure you press it firmly. Right, Mariah? She's a great teacher. She she actually teaches tutorials in this group from time to time. We just started about two weeks ago, and she's helped a lot of people so far. So hopefully you guys can catch the tutorial on this page or her YouTube. Make sure you do it nice and firm. Make sure oh, make sure it's how she wanted. You. All right, hold it down from the bottom. Make sure that's where you want it. Okay. Keep one of your hands down there because you want to make sure your design don't move. All right, just the tip top first. And do it hard, 30 seconds. No, she's okay. okay. Yep, yeah, sure. About right there. 30 seconds. And you can kind of see the design underneath it so you know where to press at. You got to press firmly. Yep, then you're going to go down some more. About right here. About right there. Again, can't press the same. Wait a minute. Yeah, about right there. Yep. No, you already did that part. Right here. Do it hard. Yeah. I we did red on the last one. This is our first time doing black. I knew they was going to do the colorful uh I knew that's going to do the colorful vinyl, so I'll go ahead and peel it from the top. That should be nice and warm. Yeah, peel it. Wait, wait a minute. Got wait for just a few minutes. Let it cool down a little bit. But you're going to peel it from the top because you press the top first. Remember that. Peel it from the top first. The top of the design where you pressed it first. All right, how it feel now on the bottom? What? Okay. All right, you can go ahead and peel it from the top. Yep, from the top.
All right, where parts where it lifted at, do y'all see where it lifted a little bit in some parts? We always take the parchment paper and press it just for a few seconds, not a full 30 seconds, just a few, like 10, 15 seconds. Go ahead. All right, then do the bottom. Don't repress it. Don't repress the same spot. Okay, go ahead. About right there. Hard. All right. You see that? Now everything is down perfectly. Desi did a good job. See that, y'all? I'm going to keep this over here. And Maya's about to do hers. This is a very easy first project. So, y'all get those crickets out. Those urns out. If you don't have your press yet, you can get it done. Thank you, Brittany. She said it looks good. All right. And Maya's about to show you guys how she do hers. First, you gotta make sure it's straight. Remember how my Destiny just did hers? All right, hold the bottom. Head, press it hard. Oh, she said that looks beautiful. Love it. They selling they love it. Everything. Say thank you, Des. Thank you. Yeah, we just pressing it for thirty seconds each spot. Don't don't repress it, Maya. You can't repress the same spot, okay? And if you guys, it's your first time watching, that's Mariah. She's the one that go live in this group. Well, when we first did it about two weeks ago, she was going live every day. <laughs> but Christmas came and we got super busy. So we we, we slowed down a little bit. But we, she did the whole thing? No, she did. Turn it down. Turn it down, Stefan. But uh, you got to make sure you press each part hard for 30 seconds. But yeah, Mariah goes live in the group every so often. Sometimes I go in there to show y'all some tricks in the design space. But you can always follow us on YouTube. It's pinned in the comments. Our custom designs. Uh, we have some, we put our lives on there too. So if you see some hour long videos, that's our live videos from the groups. <laughs> so, and you're going to wait just a few seconds until it cooled down. And then you're going to peel it off. As you seen in she didn't press that good. As you seen the last time, if it if it uh comes up, we're gonna just repress it without the plastic on it, the mask, I guess they call it. And like I told the group earlier, if you're new to the live, it's okay to mess up because I've messed up on live before doing a t-shirt. I was doing a t-shirt with my for my son, a uh, uh, print and cut. It messed up, but you know what I did? I started all over and I finished the new shirt while on live. Yes, we waste material teaching the kids, but... It's all a learning lesson. It'll, it'll come back to them. They can use this in the long run. They starting at 10, 11, and 12, or 9, 10, 11. Imagine how they're going to be when they're my age. Oh, my goodness. It just is going to be like game changer for them. See, it's not sticking too good. Let's see what's going on. No, I don't want to overpress it. Just go ahead and take it off. Let's see what happens. This one's not sticking too good. Yeah, go ahead. 
Hold on. None of it's sticking. Let's hold on. Let's see. I don't. Yeah, none of it is sticking. I don't know what's going on with this one. This. You know what? Somebody said, does the urn work good? The urn's not even on. <laughs> oh, my God. I must have unplugged it. Hold on, y'all. The urn. Hold... Jesse, come plug it, the urn. It unplugged. <laughs> I was about to say, wait a minute. The urn does work good, Kiki. <laughs> when it's plugged in. <laughs> that is too funny. Okay, it is back on. It does work good when it's plugged in, honey. But yeah, we do all of our projects that's earn on with this. Uh -uh, let it get th like a few seconds. All of our projects we do that's earn on, we do it with this urn. We've been doing it with this urn since May. Because yeah, this is our first project. So, yep. It does work when it's plugged in. Here you go. Like, my daughter's. This is her first one. Came out pretty good. And Mariah said, hey. Hello, everyone. That's the teacher. <laughs> uh, just starting out, I got a arm just making sure it works. Oh, yeah, it works. It works. She said your uh, your thing is pretty. Your pot holder is pretty, Des. Thank you. Oh, yeah, she wouldn't go here. Yeah, it don't take long for it to get hot. Turn that TV down just a little bit. Maya, pay attention. You're pressing the same spot. Pay attention, okay? Right there. That hole. Alright, let's try it out. You know we're going to go by and back and repress it. If it peels. And just wait just a few seconds so it to cool down. Some papers is a uh, hot peel, warm peel, cold peel. We mostly only do warm peel. We hardly ever do hot peel. And whenever you, some papers, if you do the cold peel, wait till it gets cold. It does, it peel. It's a little harder to peel off. So you got to just learn your vinyl. And most of the time, if you get a vinyl that got label. It tell you what kind of pill it is. Teaching them young, that's great. I can't imagine my little doing this. He's almost four and so willing to learn. Oh, yes, Miss Kiki. Our four-year-old, he actually cooks. If you go to our chef's kitchen, you'll see his little stuff on there cooking, girl. <laughs> he is on there chefing it up. All right. Uh, start right here. Because, you know, you got to repress it. Sometimes... We almost every time we have to repress it. I don't know if we don't hold it down long enough, but we always repress it. Autumn is coming up. Did she press that part pretty good? Yeah, she did already. If you gotta repress it, go ahead. We just have to. We press that part. Maybe because it's on the crease. Maybe because it's on the crease. Let's just repress that part. Just a little bit. Okay, go ahead. Might have melted it that time. This I don't know. Hold it down. I got my camera. This is this is the part that you uh -oh. Oh, so y'all can see. Uh oh, it's messed up the shelf part not hold, put it back down. We want to repress that part. That's coming up. I don't know if it got too cold or what, but 
like I said, we mess up. I mess up. This is their first time, so you know they get a little pass. They get a little Maya, you get a little pass. <laughs> but nah. If we mess up, we just keep on going. We got lots of vinyl. So we'll just do the other side. This is for our house, so you know. If we gotta do the other side, we'll do the other side. Let it cool down just a moment. <laughs> Let me show yours, Destiny. We got some new people on here. This is the first one we did. It came out very pretty. It's just a little pot holder. We got them for the, from the Dollar Tree. Two of them for a dollar. Mariah's teaching her sisters how to cricket. That's Mariah if you're new here. She has a YouTube page, Our Custom Designs, where she teaches cricket, design, cricket cat, cra crafts. All right, let's see what's going on here. If you can get it off, we'll repress it with the parchment paper. Practice makes perfect. I did an iron on and forgot to cut shiny side down, so I just learned on um, keep on going. Yes, ma'am, it's Kiki. That's what I'm going to teach them. Keep on going. You got to start somewhere. And this was our first project uh, back in May. So, got to start somewhere. Trying to press it down some more. See if it works. If not, it'll be all right. It's all right. It is all right. It, it's on there, but y'all see it's a little slanted. It still looks good to me. It looks good to me. Hold it up, Maya. You did a good job, Maya. Look at you. <laughs> you are a great teacher, Mariah. That's the end of this live. Those are the oven mitts. Y'all did a good job. All right. And we're about to work on some water slide. We, that's new to us. We did it one time before. This will be our second time. And later on, Mariah going to show y'all how to clean the mats. We have two of these 12 by 14 mats. And it is time for a cleaning. Uh-oh. It said my phone rotated. After Christmas, we did a lot of work with these mats. And it's time to get a good cleaning. So, y'all look forward to that video on our YouTube Come on, Mariah. You got to say goodbye. Tell them to subscribe. We're going to roll to journey to 500 subscribers. She got 100 subscribers in less than a week. So I know we can do it. She's coming around to tell you guys. Mariah, what? Make sure you have to subscribe to my YouTube, Art Cousin Design. Journey to 500. Journey to 500. Say, so see y'all there. See y'all there. Bye. Bye. Say hello. I'm new to this whole thing. I'm glad I found you all. Yes, ma'am, Miss Victoria. Make sure you follow us on YouTube. We have posted videos there all week. So, bye, y'all. Bye. Make sure y'all subscribe.